All right, so hey, what's up, guys? With Eek here from nextsinkers.com, back again with another video. And today, what we have to discuss about is the Google Allo. Yet another messaging application which the entire world was psyched about, most probably due to the feature called Google Assistant. Today, let's discuss more about it. So right up front, you see the profile bar when you swipe left, opening up the left hamburger menu. Profile displays your name and number. That's it. No status or any of that thing. Then we have help section, which is filled with predefined articles revolving around the FAQs of Google Allo. Then there's settings. Most of it is quite in resemblance to the popular messaging app WhatsApp. So you will feel right at home here. In fact, things have been simplified here. Just one panel to all your settings. Whereas we also have blocked contacts features to keep your things personal away from your relatives. Okay, so tapping on that search icon takes you to search a specific chat that you're looking for. To start a chat, tap on the icon which is seen on the lower right hand side and it opens up the chat carousal. Here's where you can see the people using Google Allo and there are some specifics whether you want a group chat, an incognito chat or just want to try Google Assistant if you have disabled it while clearing the history. So let's try chatting with my friend live here. So here's how you can send emojis and voice prompts as you are familiar with WhatsApp. Though if you tap the plus icon you will be taken into another fresh set of buttons. First we have the camera. Then there's your photo gallery. Tapping next icon, there are stickers. Initially, there would be three different set of stickers, but you can tap on the last icon to download additional stickers like this. Also, once you have downloaded a sticker pack, that would go on the top list of your stickers gallery. As you can see that the one I just downloaded is shown first here. Whereas lastly, we also have location sharing enabled right within the app. Now let's understand two new features. So let's say if you want to exaggerate a sentence, just type your message and then tap and hold the send button and drag it all the way up and release it. Whereas when you want to do the exact opposite, which is expressing things in a shallow manner, perform the opposite exercise. And just for kicks, here's how it looks. Now you must know that Google offloads the chat to their servers for backup purposes. But if that freaks you out, you can try the incognito mode. Here's how you can do that. You can see that I have sent a message from my one number to another number on incognito mode. In this chat, you can set timer to self-destruct the message from 5 seconds to up to 1 week. And this data won't be stored on Google's servers. Also, the Google Assistant won't be interfering in this chat. It's essentially a Google Now built right into the messaging app, but it has got humor and a great response time. Whatever you ask Google Assistant, it replies back almost instantly. For example, I've asked it a lot of things from weather, games, travel tickets, news, recipes, sports to potentially everything you can think about. It even replies back in smileys. For example, I'll show you a live query address where Google Assistant is doing a perfect job. You can also play several games within the Google Allo. and classic games are my favorite. So let's play a few games. Let's start with Pac-Man and Cubix. It is quite good to see that these games load up quite instantly and there are no frame drops which gets a big thumbs up from my side. Let's say you didn't like the response upon your query, you can just simply provide a feedback by tapping the thumbs down button and Google Assistant notes that down instantly. Another thing which kind of freaks me out is that the Google Assistant is integrated in your chat and you can activate it by tagging Google within the app. So in a way, it kind of freaks me about how Google knows everything about me. But this could be helpful to find a place to chill and hang out with your friends as you are finding a destination within the app itself. Then there's the usual group chat, there's nothing fancy here. One of the interesting things that I've observed in a normal chat is that you get suggestions based upon what you type, which gets improved over time. And I'm guessing in future, you won't even require to type anything after watching this. This app just learns everything you type and then it chats with the person on behalf of you. Isn't that freaky? That freaks me out big time. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. So what's my final verdict on this? I don't know. It's just something new that I had to try. Well, I'm sure you're doing the same. Eventually, you would head back to WhatsApp. In fact, if you check your smartphone right now, now you might have a WhatsApp text. So it bonkers down to an audience face. An audience who are interested to try new things. An audience who just wants something to talk about. So that's about it from my side. I'll soon come up with a full review about this app when it launches in a full-fledged stable version as right now it's in beta phase at least the Google Assistant feature. So that's about it guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I'll see you in my next video.